Hello everybody, it's myself in comics here with an indie review called Tyrant Fall. This is an indie comic I was supporting a lot on Twitter because it was getting really hard to get to the funding goal and I really wanted this to pass. I remember the advertisement being like, if you like, I don't know if it was called Death Metal Magazine or Metal Magazine or comics or something like that. I, I know it's very well known, I don't read it, but the one that got my attention was like, also if you like Dragon Ball Z, and I said, cool, I'm a support. <laughs> you. Okay, so issue one. Tyrant Fall, created by C. Brennan Knight and Max Davenport. The script by Brennan Knight, the lines and inks by Max Davenport, the colors by Roman Stevens, and the letters by Rob Jones. Printed in China, how dare they? I'm just kidding. So this is kind of like um, a dystopian future. And I, I was going to say sci-fi, but I don't think this was classified as sci-fi since there's a lot of like mystical stuff in there not so much technology is shown unless you know somebody has like you know robot leg and all that stuff right just gonna zoom in a little bit over here okay so it starts with like a villain who is part of like the dragon clan she doesn't look like one but you know, they're having uh, this type of form. Uh, what it does is that it gives us backstory on the clan. I'm trying not to show too much of this one because I do like it a lot. And I kind of want people to support this. If there is a link to somehow purchase the book afterwards, uh, like if on a website or something like that, I will be able to contact the person and let them know uh, that this is what I want to do because they have been like contacting me, um, the artist and the script writer. I mean, sorry, the inker and the script writer. And so I'm like, okay, cool. I'll let them know. I'll, I'll add it on to this um, review. And if it happens, links will be in this description. Woo! Okay, so like we kind of get a backstory of like the world in a way. Uh, apparently there was like some people into the rebellion and all that stuff. So uh, something tragic happens in the family. And this little girl was like, the girl's family by the way. There's this little girl, she has a family. Something happened to the family. She's. This is a revenge story, by the way. And so she decides to gather up a team and go to the castle. <laughs> uh, and so in this castle, you have the dragon clan lady, and then she has all these people who are um, advisors of some sort. Uh, the girl and her team kind of like break in and all that stuff. I don't want to explain a lot of their powers <laughs> because they're honestly super cool. There's one guy I found annoying, but I'm like, he's not that bad of a guy and all that stuff. I'm gonna skip over here. So, so over here, you just see the battle commence and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so good. It's so interesting. Everybody is like so freaking cool and all that stuff. Um, and you honestly think that in this uh, issue that like they're probably going to be doing well and no that ends up not happening and so bad stuff happen again <laughs> the villain is amazing I just love her and uh, I don't know if I would call her egotistical, but she is extremely confident in her abilities. And she realizes that, you know, 
it's it's not as easy as she thought it was going to be with all the training despite all the training she did uh but out of nowhere in this castle there is somebody who is wanting to help her and so she's like yeah sure you know uh i help you you help me boom it explodes but we don't know what happens next if you want to find out what's going to be going on in this issue, you want to see the backstory, you want to see the fights, you want to see this incredible art and, you know, literally everything else, you got to read this book. I can't recommend it enough. Uh, hopefully there is something um, I can put in the description as a link because it's just that good and I need issue two. I'm so happy that this got funded and all their work, all their hard work is being recognized. And then of course they have um, a whole thing where they're, like I said, there's like a backstory with all this mystical stuff in there that kind of rem reminds me of like a Dragon Ball Z-esque kind of world where it's like, who is the mysterious fey child and what fate awaits the red dragon? But who are those? You don't know yet. You gotta get issue two to find out. <laughs> oh, I wanted to show more of this book, but this is actually a good size book, by the way. I don't remember, it's probably like 30, almost 30 pages. I feel like that's the usual, but because it's Kickstarter, it's usually like, a pre-order anyway so you get it at a cheaper price anyway this was literally like oh gosh what would i rate it <laughs> oh man this is gonna be hard to rate it's like do i have any problems with it at all not really like the dialogue was pretty cool. The dialogue is good. The art is good. The way it keeps you waiting, <laughs> like a Dragon Ball Z episode, is good. Can't believe they got me with that. Um, I'm honestly gonna give this a 10. <laughs> a 10, an A+. I can't, like, even if I were to have problems, it would be like extremely minor. <laughs> like I've had problems uh, with some indies, whether it be the lettering, dialogue, sometimes art inconsistencies, um, or even like just issues with printing out the book. Like sometimes there'll be some problems when they print out the book. Some pages are like literally blurry. I've had that happen a couple, a few times. Um, though there was only one time where I was actually able to contact the person about it. And so like, yeah, okay, let's see what I can do. The other one, I cannot contact them. And I don't like Facebook either. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll see if you guys can somehow get a copy for yourself if possible because it's been a while since this is out anyway if you guys are interested hopefully i have a link if you guys bought this before like i did support it um not only on twitter but i did put it on uh one of my indie videos from a few months ago if you got it let me know how it is what did you think of it what rating would you give it or even if you liked it or dislike it if you are interested in it let me know if you have any questions uh i'll be sure to answer as many questions as possible all right see ya all right guys make sure you like comment subscribe and hit that bell notification and have a nice day everybody